play by ear this year once you understand all the principles of the any key music system now we're gonna get right to it because we are in the month of March now over here in Toronto it's a little bit chillier but that's the part of the weather because you know what even though it's chilly my any key music members are heating things up all right so we're gonna celebrate all the AKMS achievers who have hit their goals or the next level in their achievement for the month of March all right so who do we have first we have Desmond Campbell. Now, Desmond has completed Volume 2, CD3. Congratulations, Desmond. You have completed the infamous Volume 2. Now, your numbers are a force to be reckoned with. Now, Desmond sent me this message. I have completed Volume 2, CD3. I'm going good so far and seeing the benefits of the scales. Thanks for making your course available. You're welcome, Desmond. Just keep up the great work and you'll see a lot more results. Next we have Soji Oguntanade. How you doing Soji? Hope you're doing great. Well, I know you're doing great because you have completed Volume 2, CD3 as well. Congratulations! You've completed the infamous Volume 2. Playing in every key is now second nature to you. Now here's a message that Soji sent me. Soji said, Hi Robert, I've completed Volume 2, CD3 today. This is actually my second iteration as I found some of the secondary numbers in some keys challenging at your speed. This volume really forces one to think about what one is doing. Understand, then apply. Locating and playing the melodies at correct pitch was great fun. Really enjoyed it. I will move on, but will add this crucial section to my warm-ups and try to complete a few more times. God bless you real good. All right, Soji. Did you see what Soji said? Soji says, I'm going to add this to a part of my warm-up. That is someone that is really going to get amazing results because they know the importance of what we just did. I guarantee if you make it a part of your warm-up, in the next levels, you'll play the advanced things with ease. Keep up the great work, Soji. All right, next we have Daniel Banks. Congratulations, Daniel. Now, Daniel has completed Volume 1, CD1, and then you sent me this message. Thank you for a refreshing new way to learn piano. I've tried for many years without much success. I'm on my way now. That's right, you are on your way because you are following every single exercise. Congratulations. Now, Daniel didn't finish there. Daniel also completed Volume 1, CD2. All right, and Daniel said, Hello, just completed Volume 1, CD2. Only two problems with program as of now. Now, here, I always enjoy constructive criticism. So, Daniel also said, only two problems with program as of now. One, never explain which fingers to use. You gave number to finger, but not how to apply. And that is correct, Daniel, because at this point, the fingers that you use are irrelevant. Irre there will be a time where I'll say you have to use these fingers, but it's not at this time. All right, so great observation. Now, number two, provided little information on how to use chorus with song number three. I've never heard the song and couldn't hear how the chorus applied. Great program. Now, I know he said great program, but he did definitely say that he'd never heard the song. But he never said that he couldn't play it. He said he never heard it, which is fine, because guess what? You heard it now, and in order to get past that level, you had to play it by ear. And that's what playing by ear is all about. You don't have to have the song as a reference. you got to be able to hear a song, even if you haven't heard of it before, and listen to it and then play it. Very good. Now, to understand what a chorus is different from a verse that comes with the lyric. If a song is instrumental, you won't be able to tell which one is the verse or the chorus because they can sound the same. The difference is lyrics. Let me, let me put it like this. A verses have the same melody but different words. A chorus has the same melody and the same words. So the only determining factor to know which one is a verse or chorus is if you've heard the song before and you know the lyrics. But if you don't know the lyrics because you haven't heard the song, you won't know. But you've heard the song and you played it by ear. That's all you need to do. All right? So great job, Daniel. Okay, next we have Dean. Now, Dean has completed Volume 1, CD1. Now, Dean sent me this message. Hi, Robert. My name is Dean, and I am from Massachusetts in the USA. I just wanted to say I have completed Volume Volume 1, CD1. Congratulations, Dean. Volume 1 is in the book. Keep up the great job. Now, Dean didn't stop there. Dean also completed Volume 1, CD2. All right? And not only that, Dean didn't stop there. Dean also completed Volume 1, CD3. And this is what Dean said. Hi, Robert. I have completed Volume 1, CD3. I am having a lot of fun with the lessons. I did find the fingering for playing the scale a little awkward at first, but now I have the hang of it. 
Now are these the fingerings that I will also be using when playing melodies? Or are they just for scale purpose and for when you learn how to solo? And to answer that, and I think I did answer on the, on the form, but to answer that, yes, these are just for the scales right now. However, when you play them with the scales, muscle memory will kick in so that when you actually play the songs in real life, you'll see that you'll interject some of your fingering. Now, for some melodies, it's not going to follow the, the series of the major scales, so you'll need to switch it up. So what would happen, you'll do a combination of major scale fingering and just whatever fingering is available at the time. Great question. Now, guess what, guys? Dean wasn't finished there. Dean also finished Volume 1, CD4. And here's the message from Dean. Thank you, Robert, and I am glad I did listen. I used to think my foundation was very strong, but after going through the foundation CDs, I was able to see where the cracks in my foundation were. And now, thanks to you, those cracks have been filled. The practice routines for beginners is now part of my daily workout before I begin my lessons on CD2. Thanks again. You're welcome, Dean. That is someone that I always say go through every single thing because they can identify some of the small things that you need. But I know I'm sounding like a broken record. Just complete every AQMS exercise. Don't take my word for it. Take Dean's. Okay, next we have Mike. Mike has completed Volume 3, CD4. Congratulations, Mike. Now, Mike sent me this message. Hi, Robert. Completed Volume 3, CD4 on March 23rd, my birthday. Well, happy birthday to you, or belated, okay? Then he also said, there is so much information here that can be applied to all music styles. Using the numbers, for example, 2, 1, 1, 3, sharp 4, sharp 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 6, 6, the beginning part of yesterday makes it so easy to play the song in all 12 keys. You also discover that most composers like using notes in the order of the scale, 6, 7, 8, or 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, etc., versus interval jumps. So those basic songs you taught us are not as basic as one might think. I can't think of the songs I discovered that use 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, and etc., but it's more than Mary Had a Little Lab. It would be great if all students shared a song or two, just the numbers they figured out. You recommended we do this before completing Volume 3. It was a lot of fun doing that, but doing so and playing the numbers in all 12 keys did add to how long it took to complete volume, the volume. Thanks, Mike. Exactly, Mike. And that's what I'm saying. The NEQ Music, you'll breeze through it, but if you do it properly, you will complete and take all the skills that you, you know and apply it to something that you did prior. That's how you do this exercise and that's how you do the system properly. Great job, Mike. Keep up the great work and I look forward to hearing more about your transformation. Okay, next we have Alfred. Now, Alfred has completed Volume 2, CD1. Congratulations, Alfred. The first level of playing in every key is in the books. Now, you just got to do a couple more, all right? Keep up the great word, Alfred, and I'll see you at the top of AKMS. Okay, next we have Doris Walker. Congratulations, Doris. Now, Doris has completed Volume 1, CD1. And not only that, Doris has completed Volume 1, CD2, and Volume 1, CD3, and Volume 1, CD4. So, guess what? Doris has completed her foundation. Congratulations, Doris. Now, after Doris completed Volume 1, she said, Hello, this is Doris. I have finished the Foundation, Volume 1, CD1. Congratulations. And then she said, Complete Volume 1, CD2. Ready for more. And she got more because she didn't stop there. She went to, well, let's see what she said. She said, Completed the Foundation CDs. Looking forward to future volumes. Worthwhile work. You see that? She felt worthwhile because it challenged her, and that's what I would never rob you on. By just giving you a tutorial and robbing you of all the growth that you needed in between there, it robs you of that feeling of accomplishment, and I would never do that to you, all right? So, you deserve the accomplishment, and you will get that accomplishment once you join these AKMS Achievers in completing all the levels. So, guess what? That's going to be it for the month of March, all the AKMS Achievers, and I know there's a lot of AKMS Achievers who are working hard at, are working hard at making April one of their best months as well, all right? So, I come to the last part of this video, which simply says, congratulations, AKMS Achievers. You have made history. Now it's time to be added to the wall. So check the AKMS Wall of Achievement. You would see that your name has been added to the AKMS Play by Air Wall of Fame. Keep up the great job, and I'll see you next month.